Now, with Freshers' Week coming to an end and students beginning another year of painful lectures, we thought we'd find out just what there is to do to take that rare time out away from your studies. What would you do yourself in the Manchester area? Well, with me now to fill us in on all the events that are not to be missed are Joe and Johnny from the University of Manchester. Welcome, boys. Hi, Jude. How are you doing? Uh, so, students need quality entertainment. What's your role? What can you provide? Uh, well, basically, what we're doing is we're putting on our own night in Manchester at the Ritz. And what we're trying to do is create a night for the students of Manchester, sort of by the students of Manchester. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a night on that uh, incorporates all the different societies in Manchester. So um, sort of the cheerleaders will, can perform there. Uh, we've got dance troops performing there, break dancers and masseuses as well. You know, if you get a bit bored of dancing. <laughs> masseuses? So, yeah. How do you go from masseuses to drinking and break dancing and cheerleading? Uh, we're not sure, but it's, it's <laughs> going to be a very unusual night. All right, <laughs> every taste covered for on this yeah. particular night. Uh, what about for the rest of, for the rest of, I guess, the year? Have you got anything else coming up that, that students would love to get involved in? Well, this is it. On the way here, me and Joe were talking about the top three events for students this week and next week, apart from Garanga, which is obviously next Tuesday, the 6th of October. This week, we are talking about, well, tonight in particular, Manic at Moho. It's a particularly big night. It's one pound in, and it's free cocktails all night. What? Basically, yeah. <laughs> that, this is the true indie night for Manchester. Me and Joe have been frustrated by indie music in Manchester for a couple of years now. Uh, Fifth Avenue 42s are not cutting it, in our opinion. We mm. think they are ruining the student atmosphere. One pound to get a smoking ban to go outside and smoke. If you, we're not condoning smoking, but if you do, we think that's a bit of a rip-off and ruining your night. So head to Moho's every Monday for Manic. So is it really still students want to go out and just have a few drinks? Or have you organised any other nights? Do you know of any other nights that are going on that doesn't necessarily involve, you know, 15 pints? <laughs> Um, well, obviously, what? alcohol has a lot to do with the student life down <laughs> nowadays, so um, there's always going to be some of that. But uh, what we also want to sort of tell students about are the, the smaller sort of bars around Manchester. So say you don't want to just go to a club and drink a lot and do all that. If you want to just have a more quiet night, maybe just a couple of drinks with a few friends, there are some really good bars in Manchester, some very high-quality bars that students tend to miss out on. Uh, for example, we really want to push the Northern Quarter. Mm. So um, we really want to push the Northern Quarter and say, go there, because there are some fantastic bars in the Northern And it's Quarter. nice and intimate there as well. Like you yeah. say, if you don't want the big night, but you want to catch up with a couple of friends, a couple of drinks, easy nights, perfect place, yeah. isn't it? We're also pushing the comedy store on Deansgate Locks. Uh, they do student deals all week, uh, and that is a definite alternative to the student binge drinking culture. And do you find that you're trying to keep prices down for students? Do you find that prices are rising and you're thinking, no, hang on, students haven't got a huge amount of money, we need to cap what things are costing in the city? Uh, well, yeah, to a degree. You see uh, uh, students, most student nights, most drinks are the same price, which uh, you enjoy. But if you, the thing about student nights is the good quality student nights do tend to cost a little bit more. The th we get frustrated by clubs which put on the same night for all kind of students, and the prices do stay the same. But if you want a quality night, if you want a nice live music style night, the beer is going to cost you a little okay. bit more. You're looking at £3 a can normally. So you get what you pay for. You Basically, get what you pay yeah. for. Lovely. Yeah. Boys, thank you so much. I'm sure we'll have you back again in, in the next couple of weeks. Okay, thank no you very much. Thank you, Thank you, Talma.